Hola amigos, it's Angelo here and today in this video we will talk about the first inhabitants of Brazil. No, I'm not talking about the first Portuguese who came after Colombo, after Pedro Alvarez Cabral. Uh, I will talk about the first human beings who came to this land. I'm talking about the first indigenous people. important to clarify that this land it, it was not always called Brazil. Shocking info. <laughs> the Portuguese they were the first ones who decided to call this land Brazil but before they came uh, the indigenous people who lived here before they used to have a different name for this land. The name Brazil refers to a tree called Pau Brasil. It was called this way by the Portuguese. The indigenous people who live here, they used to call the same tree Ibirapitanga, and it was an ordinary thing, you know, they used to, f to found it everywhere. These, at least, the Portuguese people came here and ripped these trees from the land and take them to Europe. But I will make a video especially to explain to you how this happened. For now, the only thing you have to know is that it's sap, the sap from this tree was used to obtain a red dye, you know, a dye to, to dye fabrics, uh, clothes, etc. The Portuguese used to call this tree Pau Brasil because Brazil came from another word called Brasa, which means amber. So, and it's related to the color of the sap of this tree. So, Brazil means red as amber, basically. So, the name of our country came from this tree, and it's related to the color red. When I told this to one of my students, he asked me, So, why is there no red color on your flag? This is a completely different story, alright? We'll have specific classes, specific videos, just to talk about Brazil's flags. Yes, flags, on plural, because we have more than one. Getting back to our class, some historians and archaeologists, they say that this land was already occupied around 12,000 years ago. So yes, way before Columbus. And around this time, there was probably around 1,400 different groups living here. So that means there was multiple cultures, multiple languages, multiple beliefs etc. There was, you know, there was a, a huge diversity living in, on these lands way, way before the Portuguese and any uh, European guy came here. When the first Portuguese arrived here, there were probably around 2 million individuals living in this land, in the same territory that we call Brazil today. One of the most important archaeological sites that can prove this land was already inhabited by people way, way before the Portuguese came here, is located in a city called Lagoa Santa. And the oldest skeleton found in America was, you know, was found there. I'm talking about Luzia. The name Luzia is a tribute to one of the oldest fossils ever found in, in history. I'm talking about Lucy that was found in Ethiopia in 1975, if I'm not wrong. But this is another story. Let's get back to Brazil's history. A famous Brazilian archaeologist, Nied Guidon, uh, claims that life in Brazil can be traced back 30,000 years ago. This statement calls into question other theories about the occupation of America. So not everyone agrees with her, but her theories, her explanations, they are still debated by some authors, by some you know, intellectuals. Her most important arguments are the rock paintings found in Serra da Capivara. They dating from more than 13,000 years ago. Despite the many debates that we have, the fact is the Europeans, they were definitely not the first inhabitants of this land. Way before the Portuguese arrived here, there were already hundreds of different groups living here, speaking more than a thousand different languages and worshipping multiple, you know, who knows how many gods they used to have. 
can you imagine how many different cultures that used to exist here and we will never know because uh, many sources they were destroyed they were not preserved some of these people were the Carijans, the Tupis, the Guaranis, the Tapoyos and many others like many other people around the world they also used to plant they used to hunt, they used to fish, they used to pray and many of them they even they even knew how to how to craft clay, how to make pottery. One thing they didn't have it was a word for this country that today we call Brazil. You know the, the borders of the countries they are shaped over history by wars, by treaties, by documents, any other kind of historical process you can imagine. Actually the Tupis they had a word for the land they used to live. They used to call it Pindorama, but this term can be applied to the country that we call Brazil today because the, there wasn't a Brazilian nationalism at that time. So it was just the land that the peace they used to live. Another fact about the indigenous people that used to live in this land was the, the population. Their population started to decrease at the moment when the Portuguese arrived here. Like what happened to many parts of this very continent, when the Europeans arrived, they brought with them lots of deadly diseases that decimated, that whipped out the indigenous populations because they didn't have the same antibodies to fight, uh, to fight against this disease. I'm talking about diseases like flu and smallpox, diseases that we already can treat now. But at the time, the indigenous people, they didn't have the same antibodies as the, the Portuguese did. So many of them, they started to die from these diseases. Another fact was that the Europeans, they tried to enslave the indigenous people to work for them in plantations and, you know, get profit from this kind of economy. This also contributed to the decimation of the native population of this area. Unfortunately, this story doesn't have a happy ending. The indigenous people here in Brazil, even today, they are threatened by the expansion of farms in the, towards the Amazon and also by the racism in our society. So, this is the end of our first lesson. But don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell and wait for the next videos. I hope you like this one. Please leave a comment on the comment box. Uh, giving your suggestion or opinion, right? Just be nice <laughs> and uh, wait for the next video. I, I really hope you, you like them. Bye-bye. In this territory that today we call Brazil, uh, Luzia was a female woman.